If someone were to tell you that the bacteria in your gut was responsible in maintaining a healthy immune system, you'd probably agree. But what if the bacteria in your gut also maintained your brain? Technically referred to as the enteric nervous system, our stomach brain governs a complex series of neurons that turns the stomach into an autonomous digestion machine. It is these gut microbes that can control our perception of the world, and thus inform our reactions and behaviours to it. Modern research increasingly suggests that our gut microbiome controls more than what goes on in the stomach, but actually communicate directly with the brain. But why do we need two brains? Surely one brain is hassle enough. As cave people stumbling around the nascent earth, we had little idea of what foods would help or harm us. So having a stomach that could directly speak to the brain whenever we made smart choices was essential. Likewise, if we made foolish choices, our stomach would warn the brain. We usually assume that the brain, the one in our head, controls the release of all the feel-good chemicals in our bodies. But 50% of dopamine and 90% of serotonin is created by microbes in our gut. So unsurprisingly, a healthy diet will be rewarded by positive and stable moods. It has even been posited that another benefit of the bacteria in our gut producing these positive feelings is to actually help us form strong social bonds by promoting proactive social behaviour. When we are feeling good, we are more likely to attract a partner and reproduce. When it comes to love, or indeed anything else, rather than run away with our heart's desires, maybe we should take a moment to trust our guts. <laughs> Oh. <clears throat>